let producers get credit. Right. I never get mentioned, but I worked with some of the best people in the music business. Well, you know what? You can say Sean Lassine was one of the first that really got me right, man. It started me <laughs> off. You know what I mean? All right, so let's speed it up. But listen, we can all these, all these, everybody you produce, man. We could be here all night, and I know you got things to do. That's so, all good, man. You know, you know, you know, homie, bro. All right, you know, so hold on. So look, listen, big pun. He's not here with us. So some people might want to since since he's not here. Some people might want to know how was it to be in the studio. I know somebody else that produced for Big Pun, but how was I mean, that? I know that he's choppy. You got to kind of punch him in. Is that true? was ill because you know, like that was a that was one of the coolest dudes. Like, you know, I'd be in there. Actually, the first time I played beats, they always liked my beats. But the first right. time I played Terror Squad, some beats, I played the Murder Gram. They mm. passed. They passed. Oh wow! Oh, that's <laughs> and then, and then wow. what they did was the next time I came, they was like, "Yo, John, yo, I heard that other shit you made. Play something like that. Like I want something like that." I was like, "I played it for you." <laughs> <laughs> It always happens like that. Right. Everybody, they think That's they, crazy. That's crazy. they start losing it. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. he was the coolest dude in the studio. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. shouted me out on the record. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. When I was in the studio with him, he was a real cool dude. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because that was important to me back then was people shouting me out because I didn't really get no... I still don't get the recognition. I don't even care. Yeah, we gonna we gonna give it to you today, though. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> They're gonna, gonna know the day. <laughs> they you gonna know, know the listen, day. I'm just... I, you know... I love music. Mm -hmm. That's why I keep doing it. And I'm mm -hmm. always going to be doing it for the rest of my life, mm -hmm. whether I'm be scoring or, you know, whatever I'm doing. But it's not, to me, it's, 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 it's fun for people to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's more advantage for me, for them to be like, wait a minute, you didn't do this. Because for mm -hmm. you to say you did Rump Shaker, that's mm -hmm. over how many years? 30 mm -hmm. years ago? 30 years, that's right. So if I did a hit record 30 years ago and I'm working on Jada Kiss album right now, so let's just say mm -hmm. the record I got is number one. Mm -hmm. When they really interview me, when I finally get to Dick Drink Chance and Nori, my nigga, you know what yeah, I'm saying? That's right. <laughs> I finally do my sit down. What right. are they really going to say? Yeah. yeah. It's a lot, though, to unpack it's it. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot, lot to unpack saying, Like, you know, a lot of producers get credit. Right. I never get mentioned, but I worked with some of the best people in the music business. Well, you know what? You could say Sean Lassine was one of the first that really got me right, man. It started me <laughs> off. You know what I mean? <laughs> my man L. My man L over there, man. You know what I'm saying? We, and, and his cousin Rob. We, you know what I mean? They were some crazy guys. Couldn't get the, couldn't get the audio <laughs> couldn't right. Get but the they audio right, man. <laughs> but hey, man. We, 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 we going we to get it right, though, baby. You know what I mean? So, 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 so I'm a big... Uh, I mean, of course, you, of course, you know, uh, well, cousin Ellen, I'm a, I'm a huge Red Man fan. Yeah, he is. Sick. Uh, oh yeah, uh, I, I, I love Reggie. This was my favorite MC. What was it like to work with, with Reggie Noble and, and Def Squad? And I see you done stuff with Eric oh, Sermon yeah, too. See, that's how yeah. it happened. Was my man, my man Jamel, is cousins with Eric Sermon. Mm -hmm. So I used to see them in the club, him and Bernard all the time in the club. I used to be in the tunnel, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm popping bottles. I just like to have fun. Right. right. Uh, but they knew I'd get busy. Right. They knew I was with Teddy and everything, right? Mm -hmm. So I was in New York. I was I, I was away from Teddy at the time. So I was in, running around sometimes with LL. And then I'd be in the tunnel sometimes myself or, you know, with my people. Mm -hmm. So I kept seeing them. He's like, yo, I'm going to get you on the phone with Eric. So I met Eric. The day I met him, he mm -hmm. took me to go get that sampler. He was wow. like, yo, I'm we going to Sam Mash right now. Mm. <laughs> Sam Ash. That's hey, right. Man. I know about that, baby. I hear some of my BC say, yo, I'm, we're going to Sam Mash to go get the sample right now. Mm. Right. So, you know, it was like fuck like like working with him. You know, I worked on his album. I did the bomb diggy. Uh -huh. yeah. The bomb diggy diggy, the all diggy diggy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did like three songs on his album at that time. Mm -hmm. I did like maybe four songs on Keith Murray's album. Mm -hmm. That was my man, Shout out to Murray. Shout right. out to Murray. But, and then you know, I always wanted to be on Red Man's album too. I used Damn to right. love yeah. Red Man shit. You know mm -hmm. So Eric got me in with Red Man. And wow. I did the first song on Muddy Waters, Rock the Spot. Wow. Are you crazy. that was you? Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> yo, yo. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's yo, top yo, fight, baby. Y'all better if y'all don't know, y'all know bomb, now. Bring it on four types alone. My pawns. Be sleeping with the pen like Lynn Swans. Yeah, that's oh, man. Nice. oh, that was Red Man's so nice. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I've, I've always, you know, I've, people say I'm from Queens, but I've, I always love Reggie, man. But like, yeah, that's that's one of my favorite joints, man. Thank yeah, you. That's Thank one you. of my favorite joints. You did rock the spot. Yo, I'm happy. Yo, we can cut this off right now. <laughs> good to it's go. Tom Fife for the building. <laughs> Tom Fife don't care about the fame. You know what I mean? He just cut the check, <laughs> man. You know what I mean? Cut the check, just tell him pencil me that's in it. on the album. Yeah, man. that's it. Cut <laughs> the check. Make Y'all sure can do all right, that. Yeah, that that's exactly. Awesome. All right, so um. You know, since we're on the rappers, we're gonna, you know, I mean, we're gonna move off this. But since uh, I mentioned, um, since I mentioned Big Pun, I'm gonna mention Big L mm. because he's not with us anymore. Right. And a lot Peace. of people want to know, you know, what I mean, a lot of people do interviews with Big L. And do you have a moment of Big L that was like a, a special type of moment? It was crazy because I was in the studio with uh, with Heavy D. Mm. That was my man too. Okay. Uh, I, you know, I was one of the only niggas. I was probably the only nigga from Queens around 30 Mount Vernon niggas every day. Them niggas wow. treat me like I was a brother. Because, mm. you know, Hev is from the Vern, and Vernon niggas get busy too. That's right. You know, they, oh, yeah. they run deep. Oh, yeah. We, 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 we know we went to few, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They shit with a Mount Vernon dude and yeah, shot and a few. Exactly. Look up, look up, look up. I'm exactly. not playing. No they like, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we roll with you. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. You know, Hev rocking with me, so it was ill because Hev signed uh, my man Herb McGruff. Mm. Oh. So mm. we did a record called Harlem Globetrotters, mm -hmm. and it was uh, it was Mace before he was Mace. He was Murder Mace. Mm. That's right. Was Mace, corn. Gruff mm -hmm. and Big L. Oh wow! After we made that record, L was like, "Yo, this shit cold, baby." He was like, "Yo." I was speaking to him like every day that, that week after, like right before he died. Ah. Yeah. Every day we was supposed to get in the, we was going to get in the studio. I was speaking to him like every day. Literally. Wow. Damn. Damn. Oh, Rest man. It, it, I mean, you know what? Like a lot of our greats, uh, it's just like a sad thing. Like you said about Biggie and you pun and Biggie almost had, to, you know what I mean? You, you definitely would have been on probably his, his albums or one of his singles, but you did do pun, you did do Big L. And it's like, um, it's just it's just it's just horrifying to like know that we had these great rappers and they died died um, you know just just tragically man it's just yeah. crazy man yeah. you know what I mean I mean it always been like that mm -hmm. you know this is nothing new and it's probably getting worse right because mm -hmm. guys they don't even they just do it ain't even a reason and I I don't understand that part mm -hmm. I mean back at, at one point when I was like coming up it was more like the reason you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now it just Doing dumb shit. Yeah, this is it. This is spend the block for no reason. Like that. They, they killed Scott LaRock back in the days. Right. Like, they, they it was always wild when right. you think about it. Yeah. You know what did I'm you saying? ever work with KRS One? Because that's one of my favorite rappers of all time. Nah, I never did, but I love KRS One shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely, he definitely, he, he, yeah. He's KRS cool. One been one of the best. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. I agree yeah. with that. I agree yeah. with that. Ty, what, what uh, high school did you go to? Springfield. So, so you know, so my, so my, so my, uh, I, your cousin, my uncle, was the coach at Springfield. His name was Ben Moore, but um, uh, we, he used to, he used to, yeah, yeah, he was, he was, yeah, he went to Springfield. A lot of my family went to Springfield. That's what's up, man. I was right around the corner. I lived right on One Forty Fourth Road, yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah, I used to go to Mr. Campbell's right Barber Shop and everything. Third Street. Yeah, that's what's up, man. He went to Springfield. Okay, that's what's up, man. So what? So how did? How do you feel? I feel like you know. Being from Queens, you have like a certain, you know, we have like a certain thing about us. Like you got Brooklyn, you got Queens, you got Jersey, you know, you got Staten Island, you got the Bronx, you got Harlem, you know. What is it, do you, what is it, do you feel like you there's Queens, there's flavor from Queens in your, mu in your music or what, how you produce and how you, you know, and everything Absolutely. else? Absolutely. You know, I got my whole, at, my, at that time, it was really the culture. Mm -hmm. Because like... I was really tight with Jam Master J. People mm -hmm. don't even know that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up on Run DMC and LL Cool J. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, I'm from South Jamaica, Queens, where yeah, the Prime no. team was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and Bimmy and Black Just, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's right. Prime, yep. like, mm -hmm. Rest in peace, Black Just, man. Yeah. yeah, rest in peace, Just. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, we fly. Queens mm -hmm. is fly niggas. Yeah, like, it's about yeah, getting money and being fly. Yeah, Queens you get know? the money. No doubt. <laughs> Anybody from Queens, they all know they all know me. And yeah. it's not I'm from Southside, but I know mm. Hollis. Everybody, like yeah. when I hang with Jay, Hurricane, right. Smith, mm -hmm. Fats, all of 
Yeah. Hollis, Hollis crew niggas know me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They all know me. Like it's weird. The Mount Vernon niggas, same thing. Yeah. It's right. like they they just start rocking with me. Remember, like L when I right. first met y'all. Oh. Now I'm rocking with all the plain feeling. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But hold on. When I first met you, you had a studio. Hold on. Let me tell you something. When I first met um Top Fight. Right. It's like yo, go see Top Fight. Like like we were in Def Jam. Shout out to Sam Scarpo because. It's time oh, for Sam Steve. Scarpo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Sam, <laughs> Sam need to get his flowers, but he, when he do his interview, it's gonna shake, it's gonna do a Cat Williams type of moment. Out. You know what I mean? <laughs> one of the best. Yeah, exactly. When he do his thing, people gonna be like, what the hell? How the hell? And what the hell? Well, we're gonna leave that to that for that no moment, doubt, right? No doubt. So um at the end of the day, like I, I came to see you. We all came, me and Sam and everybody, and we walked in Fife, Fife had a studio. He's like, come on in. And here's this we're constructing a uh, movie theater over here. And we're just, and we're doing this over here. I'm, I'm, what the hell? I'm like, I'm like, bro, you got a whole damn. What, what is this? Like, <laughs> is this a studio? Is it their players ball? I, mean, <laughs> I like to be comfortable. So like, you know, like when I first went to, like when I went to Virginia and I went to Test Studio, you know, he had the pool table, the video games. Right. And it's mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. but we work all day. Right. Yeah. So right. I'm like, I'm a worker at the same time. Right. I like to watch movies. Like mm-hmm. I listen to scores. I listen to, I watch films to get like yeah. inspiration for music. Yeah. So if I got an engineer working on my shit, I'm going to be in the other room watching a movie, having a yeah. date. Tell yeah. my chicks. Man, I could have sworn it's full quarter for there too, man. Like he has some crazy stuff going. I'm being honest, like Fife. And, 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 and listen, everybody like, funny. this is one of the guys, like I know Fife. I know Fife pretty well, right? right. During my time in the industry. And Fife is no pressure. Mm-hmm. And when the energy starts pumping up, mm-hmm. then he starts getting up. Like it's not like you go to Fife and it's like, "Go, but hurry up, man! I got things to do." Right. It's more or less like, "All right, well, here's, here's some tracks." You know what I mean? You want me yeah. to make something fresh? Yeah. Or you want me to, uh, or you like this? And so, no, I'd rather make something. Fife is you definitely that. Yeah, man. I love that. Everybody love Fife. My whole hood love Fife, man. <laughs> real, t- real spit. Y'all, y'all already know. <laughs> that's because he's for that's because that's because that's he's for Queens, right? But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Southside, yeah. yeah. yo. So, 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 let, so let me ask. So, let me ask you another question. So, another track I believe you did was uh, this is for the fam. That was you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, brother, brother. How did you? What was your mind state creating that beat? Because that's a very underrated beat. It was with a mill. And uh, let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you how crazy it is. So, me and my my partner at the time, we used to, you know, he used to manage me. Mm-hmm. We would go to Def Jam. Every other day, mm-hmm. Def Jam was like the core of everything. So mm-hmm. it was like, it was like being on the block. Mm-hmm. Right, get some money. So we'd be in there, like, cause mad producers would, you know, if you got meetings and your shit was whack, they throwing shit out, like right. throwing mm. the technology. They might try to snuff you. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so you know, with me, you know, I I want to be the best always. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to outdo myself. So mad niggas, you know, at the time we got. Amazing niggas making beats for Jay Z. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Bink, mm-hmm. Rock Wilder, like the best Rock niggas Wilder. in the world. Yep. So I'm like, yo, I'm feeding, I'm feeding him beat. I'm trying to get on his album, yo, because right now I'm on, I'm doing records with him. I got like five records under my belt with Jay Z and never made his album. Mm. I'm in the crib. Overnight, <laughs> the next day, like, oh shit, <laughs> that is real. Yeah, five. That's I'm right. Like, I need something exciting. Yeah, right. I need something that's exciting. It's right. got to sound exciting. It's got to sound like adventure. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. While well, I watch movies, you right. know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I'm like, but the drum pattern gotta be like hood. It's gotta, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, ah. Right. So I put. I'm. Digging, you know, I would go to A1 and get records and right. stuff. Mm-hmm. So I put the records on, I got my batch, and then I review it when I get home in my room or in the basement. And I'm like, oh, this is it. So I start putting it in the machine and chopping it. And mm. then I just start, and, 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 for Dame and, and Jay at the same time. And I'm like, I know I'm going to get on the yeah. album this time. They're like, oh, shit. Uh-huh. That's right. And they're like, yo, so Dame like, yeah, we want it. We're going to give it to a mill. I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy when they started doing it. Yeah. 
They wasn't even going to have Jay on it. Mm. Oh, wow. So he bought the beat from me, gave me whatever I want. Right. right. Jay can Jay's not going to be on it. So now, first session, I, I said, I want to go to all the sessions. Mm-hmm. Right. First session, I'm in a village somewhere. Mm-hmm. Bleak. I was see if he airs it out. He shout. I was like, yo, shout me. Out. Like my nigga Ty Fight. Yeah. Boom. Now he airs it. I'm like, oh my God. Mm-hmm. And Seagull, another session. Seagull. Seagull yes. He's going crazy. Then, so then I'm at Def Jam the next day, mm-hmm. coming down the escalators, Kevin Lyles and Jay Z, right? Mm-hmm. He's like, you know, I had to get on that beat, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was still to make the album, but it made me laugh. Hey, like, I I hey it is what it is. Oh, man. <laughs> yo, you had to do what you got to do. I remember, Ooh. yo, I remember when you did Tears of a, um, Tears of a Soldier for Sam Scarfer, right? Oh, yeah, Skeezy. Yeah, see, yo, Skeezy, I'm right? Ready? So we're going we to slowly bring Sam in there, because Sam is really like, he's sitting up in the mountain, he's sitting up in there with all his all his fruits of his labor, just chilling right now. But you know, we bring right. him in slowly, right? But I remember right. when we played that record. You know that meme of Jay? They everybody got he, he, mm-hmm. he's looking that like meme. that. That's what Jay. What Jay was like. God damn! And then he mentioned your name. If I'm not mistaken, he's gonna ask Haiti about it. He was like, "Oh, wife is back, baby." <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. And then they said that, "Yo, y'all got actually a lot of them." Even Tasha was like, "Yo, stick with Fife." Like they was always pointing us to you, and and because right. the energy was always great. And I think that they was just trying to because we did a lot of West Coast. Um, Tracks at the um, in the beginning of his album, yeah. and so they was like, yeah. you know, I mean, stick with Fife. Like, I'm like, my Fife, man, shoot, Mary J. Bob just walked out the damn studio. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, yo, L, man, I'm just chilling, man. You always just lay back. I'm just chilling. I'm just loving life, man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I just like to have a good time. You know, like right now, it's all about like even now, like some of this shit that I'm working on right now is right. gonna so reinvent me. Like, mm. oh, like. People wouldn't even understand. They'd be like, yo, you make beats like that? And it's like, I don't understand how they really just don't get it. I just, I make music. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right. I've been, like, the average producer lasts how long in the music business? About five years? That's right. Yeah, not long, yeah. They had they, they run they and that's it. Oh, I've lasted, like, three. Three decades. Three decades of that's it. That's right. That's right. And still looking and good. Better still... than I've ever been. Yeah. Period. Yeah, yeah. period. That's right. Because every time... Listen, this is not thing about Fife, right? Fife Tell me, I want, I want to hear all the stories. I know, listen. Fife got to go. He got to, things to do. No, so Fife, we can't get crazy. Fife, Fife said slow it down. You, you, you keep speeding Fife up. Let Fife, <laughs> let Fife cut us off. We, I'm enjoying this interview. I know you no, is. I'm going to enjoy this interview. I'm going to get all the gems. He's in his glory right now. He's in his glory right now. You got to understand, like, I was a kid. I was a kid that was seeing a lot of stuff going on. I went from a kid going to Cobb to Morgan State. I used to see all, I used to hear the joints. I heard your name a lot of times. On people, people, people don't know the joints, but I was one of them kids. that used to open the album covers and look at the credits, mm-hmm. and read yeah. the back and see and see everything in the back and read who the MCs were cool with and everything else. And and, and you 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 are one you are a producer from that era That's that right. was that was there. And I, I didn't remember, even know you did rum shaker. Right. So I'm going I'm going I'm going to soak your time up. I'm sorry. <laughs> L, you speak, I'm just nah, a fan. I'm, I'm, I'm a being fan. honest. When yeah, I first crazy. said I, I said. I said we could. I said, he was like we was running lists on who we could get on our podcast to, to yeah. jump us off and get us right. I was like I probably get top five. You know what I mean? Blah, blah. Yeah. He's like, no, you can't. <laughs> I was like, yes, my man. You can get top five. I was like, yeah, like, like that's the my man. He was like, and so you know, at the end of the day, when we run this list down and everything like that, now people are gonna see, like you said, drink champs and all that. Of course you're gonna mm-hmm. get there, right? Because mm-hmm. it's it's gonna this is, some of this stuff is gonna get into. Oh, oh, no, I'm just waiting for like, for that call. I'm a- Single this, 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 this. I say by the spring of the summer. Oh yeah, you got you got something cooking that's gonna really shake them up. I got like two big ones. Mm. I can talk about Kiss, but I got a leaker with Kiss. He gonna drop, and okay. I might get a single. I'm sure it's gonna be a single. Mm. Wow. They don't put that out. That's a waste of time. Mm. Get that right. right feature. It's a rap. How do you? I got do you... other artists that's right now. Uh huh. You, you got art. You got other artists too. No, oh, I got an artist that's probably one of the best female artists out right now. Mm. That if I get these, you might you might have said a name, or you don't want to keep it wrapped. I don't get the placement yet. Okay, you know, got they, it. All right, yeah, we yeah. keep it quiet. Okay, they didn't say no, but they they, yeah. they keep saying yo. We keep stringing out like a few of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> talk, talk, it's spicy. Definitely make people wake up. No doubt. That's right. How 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 do you feel? How do you? I mean, um, 
it's a dumb question, but like, how is it like to work with Jadakiss? Oh man, he's my favorite rapper mm. right now. Mm. So it's like I made, you know, it was crazy with Kiss is different. It's like I've been working with him since oh man, when the first Def Jam, I did so much stuff with Kiss and I never made his album. Like I was on something, Chris Lighty bought it for an artist, my man, my son. Yeah, my son. Yeah, no doubt. Rest in yeah. peace, Chris Lighty, too. Yeah, yeah, rest in peace, Chris, baby yeah. Chris. Uh, one of the tracks I did, it had Jada Kiss on it, mm-hmm. and um, I always did, you know, something that was along the lines he was on it. But mm-hmm. then finally, and it took like three people to get me on there, like my guy Slow Bucks, Slow Bucks, uh, right, yep. Peace, um, Jay Ice Pick, my man Jay Ice Pick, that was down with Rough Riders, mm-hmm. um, and um, Shy Money Excel, my man Shy Money Excel. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. It, it took me like three years because he he worked slow. But it mm-hmm. took me like three years to get it. I was on the uh, top five Dead Alive album, mm-hmm. the first song. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Yeah, I, actually, Slow Bucks and um and Shy work with our cousin Nia. She's out of Queens. Out of oh Saint yeah, Louis. yeah, she's that's, dope that's our cousin. That's, that's our cousin. Yeah, that's, right. that's, that's our family. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's our family. I want to work with her. Tell her I definitely. Oh yeah, we can. Her. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. I know my cousin Henry. Henry is watching. She Henry. Henry probably watching. Henry, Henry, like, oh, probably, Henry probably get the watching car. right Henry now. Going yeah, down Henry there. might come down there right now. Yeah, yeah. 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 She yeah. Nah, she she I, don't think, I don't think she's signed yet. Nah, she has management, but she's not signed. But I don't want to talk. You know, we'll, we'll talk about. That. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. 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 That's that's our cousin. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely, yeah.